Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to deploy a React Docker Nginx container up to uh, Microsoft Azure. You can refer to my previous videos for more detailed descriptions and walkthroughs as to what we're building for the React app, how I remove some of the files, how I add in the Nginx configuration. Um, this one I'll just be going through it pretty quickly so that we can get to the DevOps stuff. to build and test running our application. So docker build t, we'll call this react docker azure and we will tag it as latest. Once it builds we can run this using docker run p port 3000 and from port 80. Then we'll just say the name so react docker azure latest and it's running up on port 3000. Instead of using Microsoft Azure's registry like we use with AWS, I didn't want to install another CLI onto my system, so I thought that we would just use Docker Hub since we already have Docker Desktop installed. So in my Docker Hub account, I'm going to create a new repository, and I'll call it React Docker Azure. So since I'm on an M1 Mac, um, I'm just specifying a specific Docker file, which is dockerfile.arm, and then I'm building it for platform Linux AMD64. From there, I'm tagging it as my Docker Hub username with React Docker Azure, which is the name of my repository, and the tag latest. So I'm going to copy this down, change the username, and I will go and run this. After the build completes, we can just grab the push command from our Docker registry. 
and we'll change that tag name to latest. You can see that since we're using an official Nginx image, it's actually pulling it from their library instead of pushing the code that we built. And you'll see that our latest image was pushed a few seconds ago. So in Microsoft Azure, I've created an account and I will go to App Services to create a new service. I'll use the Pay As You Go subscription. I'll create a new resource group called React Docker Azure, as well as the name of my web app called React Docker Azure. This will be a Docker container on Linux in the central US region for my region. For our service plan, I want to change this size to a free, free tier version. We're going to use a single container. This will come from Docker Hub. It's a public image, so here's where you would put in your username. And we do not need a startup command. I'm not going to configure monitoring or any tags. So once we get to the last step, we should be good to create it. Once the deployment is complete, we can go check out the resource, but it still may take a few minutes for the URL to be live. And now you can see that our application is up and running. So that concludes this video. You can check out the README. It has detailed descriptions on how to get started with Intel-based machines as well as your M1 Macs. If you need any further guidance, be sure to check out my other videos.